just want to warn you guys. I think this one's going to be a little intense. Get out of my brother's house! I don't like your attitude. No! Where are we? Whose side are we on? This one says, this attitude will get you arrested. 7.8 million views. On November 8th. 2022, police were dispatched to a residence for theft from a motor vehicle in Wausau, Wisconsin. Upon arrival, officers made contact with a male subject outside the house. The male stated his backpack was recently stolen from his vehicle. He tracked his location with Apple AirTag, leading him to the reported residence. He also said the backpack contained several important papers, including military documents and banking information. He told police he knocked on the door, asking the resident about the backpack, but they claimed they didn't know anything about it. OMG, not this one. I hated this. Is it bad? Your her and I drove here and it's been, I don't know, I mean, I looked in the grass, maybe somebody threw out the window, but I can't find anything. And I tried to ping it and play a sound, and I can't, it's not in the grass, I can't ping it. Can you just show me the ping again, just kind of where it's... Usually it's right there, but right before it was right over here, so it's kind of been jumping back and forth. I don't know if somebody's moving it around. Okay. But what kind of iPad is it? It's a backpack. Oh, oh. backpack? Yeah, it's, it's like a black military, like, combat bag. Okay. Uh, okay. I mean, like a, and what, what's in it that you're tracking? An air tag. So I don't know if, so, you know what an air tag is, right? I don't know if somebody might have thrown out the window. I wouldn't care if they took, like, like the shaving cream. I wouldn't care. Like, it's a travel bag. Yeah. So I wouldn't care if they took anything else, but... There's a, there's a food like binder in there. It yeah. has like my banking information, my notes, my military documents. Like, I need that binder. I'm, it can, I don't care about it. Okay. Else, I mean, it could very well just be in the garbage. Sounds like somebody answered the door, though. The resident was later identified as 19 year old Mario Camacho Jr. Mario? Okay. So, you got the backpack here? Or? I actually don't. I have neighbors, and uh, he told me that he talked to them. Okay. These neighbors over here? Or these ones. I don't know. He just he came to this house. Oh, yeah. The, the air tag is, is going right here. What? Okay. At this address, it can be. That's my bag. I was, I was cleaning my car out, but I thought it was Okay. All right. Like I said, I don't know why it would be popping up here. Like I, like I said, the neighbors, any... Anybody else in this area? The only one here I know what is in this house. Look at his There's definitely nipples. no backpack. All right, just uh, I might come back to chat with you. Just think tight. They searched the garbage cans outside Mario's house and discovered several empty purses and wallets. Oh my God, they're purse and wallet thieves! Can advise were any purses or brown wallets taken from these vehicles? These garbage cans are full of purses and brown wallets. <laughs> There's credit cards here too. Are you guys allowed to look through my property? Hey, garbage? Yeah. While the officers were waiting outside the house, an uninvolved female pulled into the driveway. What's going on? I just want to know what's going on because I drove by and I seen y'all searching through my brother's trash can, so I'm just wondering what's going on. You know exactly what's in that trash can. The way she just said that, she totally knows what's in that trash can. You're digging through them purses too, bitch. I can hear it in your voice. Do you live here? I come here often and I drove by and see you guys searching my brother's garbage can, so I am just no, wondering what's going you. on. Okay. And well, there's cars out you don't, here. You don't live here, you don't need to know right now. Actually, I do. Mario, what's going on? Oh. Time for, you have enough, can you run her? The female was later identified as 22 year old Chertisha Camacho. Who are these people? They're the ones who called us. Her energy to me is some serious like, all right, I'm gonna take care of this. And some people, they really are tough. You can be really, really tough in situations, especially when you're snatching purses away from people. But the tactics you're used to, it's probably not gonna work on officers when in this situation, they have the power to arrest you. He had a bag stolen. My brother's Will you let garbage me talk? can. Will you let me talk? I actually been asking y'all to talk okay. since I pulled up here. So well, yeah, go ahead, thank you. So he had a bag stolen from his car last night. It had an air tag in it. Air tag places it somewhere between these two mm -hmm. houses. Oh, so he lives in the other houses. No, we're nice talking try. with them right now. We're gonna go next door, but the air tag shows okay, it right that's here. That's fine, but don't go searching through my brother's garbage can for Y'all don't property. have the right to do that, that's and y'all know property. better than that because y'all are police officers. We don't do the, no. We have that the authority to do it. Straight up. We have the 
have the authority. It's really to that. Start- Can I just say, this guy's got some big balls right here. If I was just looking for my backpack and this chick rolled up like that, and they were like, the officer's like, this guy right here had something stolen. I would have just rolled my window up and said, y'all take care of it. No, you don't. Now without my brother's permission, you don't. That's illegal in a... I can't even search my neighbor's garbage can. So I know you can't search my brother's garbage can. You don't do, okay. don't you do nothing like that without his permission. Can. Thank you. Okay. So what are we doing right now? Here. Due to the AirTag ping location and marijuana odor coming from the house, officers found it reasonable to make entry and make sure there were no other residents. Yeah. All right, who else is home right now, Mario? Just you? Right, I'm going to have you step out. Are you? Have a seat for me. I'm going to be securing the residence because the residence smells like weed. We're going to be applying for a search warrant. Is there anybody wait, else? Wait, wait, is she talking to the guy? Is she talking to the dude in the car? Is she trying to intimidate the officers? Can you imagine what she's saying to him right now? Is that him? You already know she's in the window right now. Like, hey, you little shit. If you don't drop these charges right now. <laughs> like, y'all don't smell no weed. So y'all can Stay get out. out here. Stay out. Stay I don't out. smell weed. Oh, My brother out. don't smoke weed. Stay so, out. Did y'all check the neighbor's house to feel smell she's weed? Right or no, not? Sir. Y'all don't have the right to do that. There is no scent of weed in this house. Y'all want to come and smell? Record, y'all want to come and smell? Y'all want to come and smell? Someone else want to come and smell? Come have my a brother sniff. don't smoke weed, so it don't smell like weed in here. Stay out. Get out of my brother's house before I call my lawyer. You don't have an attorney on retainer. I know you don't. Sir, don't grab Put your hands behind your back. Okay, that's fine. Stay up, please. They don't have the right to do this. Smell Mario's house. It don't smell like weed in there. No, Stay out of the house. house. No. No. Girl, you no, go back, back in the car. car. Justin, get go back in the car. car. I'm going to get no. right back out. That's crazy. That's so weird. They just doing this like go search and house. No. Have a they seat. Don't, y'all don't have the right to search this house. Have a seat. I will. Good y'all don't got to grab me up no. like that. Y'all do not have the right, Mario. Tell them that they don't have the right to go back to the house. Go back to the house. Right now, we're securing the house. Right. Tell them right now. Listen, Just don't be mad. Just tell them. You do not have the right to go in my house. We're securing the house. Tell them that, Mario. Tell them that. Tell them. They do not have the right to go into your house without a search warrant. Mario, it's illegal in this house. Mario, they have the right. They would already be searched. You don't have the right to go into your house without a search warrant. Mario, if they had the right, they would already be searched. And we cannot let you back in the house right now. That's fine, Mario. But tell them. Mario. Listen. Shut up and listen, boy. He didn't say so. Shut up. I thought it first that she was like riding really hard for her brother like just trying to like defend him like he's kind of being a little quiet maybe he doesn't normally speak up for himself and so she usually steps in to like you know older sister or whatever but then I find it odd that she tells him to shut up so quickly she said shut up boy like that was so condescending where are we Whose side are we on? What is the goal? <laughs> like, do not have the right to search Listen, the house without a search we're warrant. Not and then the you need to wait. The house. We are not just, searching like the, the way house. Just well, you guys were just in there we without his searching. permission after we told you not to be in there. Stop breaking my off, and right. this will be a lot simpler. Right. If y'all leave, this will be solved right way simpler without y'all here. Y'all searching shit, y'all ain't got no reason to be searching. Check the bathroom right quick. Exactly. That's what we're trying to do. Go check the bathroom right quick. Y'all see they're trying to take advantage of somebody that don't even- What is her tactic? What she wants is she wants the officers to leave and she wants her brother to be safe. She's just aggressive. She's just like an aggressor. And outside of a police situation, she would yell and scream. And then when you don't give her what she wants, she probably resorts to violence. Like this just seems like somebody that- is like, you know, just gonna, she seems like she's gonna jump on you afterwards because she doesn't like have any other tools. But I gotta say though, at the same time, like this <clears throat> shit would work on me. Like if you get in my face yelling like that, like I'm just gonna think that you're crazy and I'm gonna think you have no regard for repercussions. If you can convince someone that you don't care about going to jail and you'll do whatever just so that like you can be righteous, um, that's very scary to people. And so I'd be like, Okay, you can have whatever you want because I'm not dealing with this shit. I got stuff to do. I got to stream. I got to upload videos. You know, I got to I gotta be at my shows. I got to roll down the hill. Like, I can't, like, I can't. I don't have time for all this, so. Y'all doing too much. Oh, no. Mario, just sit down. Trying. Sit down. Because I'm not trying to get them to think that you and Justin are going to sitting here in handcuffs because I told them their job. These motherfuckers know the law. They know better. I shouldn't have to tell them that. 
and then they put me in handcuffs because I told them right from before. Like I shouldn't even have to say that to you. Listen, listen, you got it. Is your body cameras on? Listen, no. What they said was they they finna do a sweep to make sure ain't no humans in the Mario, we don't even gotta say nothing else. As long as don't you know, step out of just Mario, just tell him to step bathroom. out of your house. Right, go look at no, I'm watching. Go look at my Mario. Bathroom. They don't have the right. Can you put her in your Mario? Yep. Mario, because you see, they try to take me to jail because they, me. they're Mario. They can't get into your house. The only reason they're in there is because you told them to go in the bathroom. I swear to God, Mario, if you tell them to get out of the house, they can't. After a brief search of the home, an officer discovered the stolen backpack in the bathroom. <gasps> no. Stop resisting. No. Stop. 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 That's in the bathroom. Okay. So what's in the bathroom? He's trying to stop me. Resisting. Stay back. I'm just recording. Stay back. Get back. Dude, I'm just... Dude, you know what? I just want to say, I'm not endorsing this. I just have, like, noticed this. A lot of people that I know that are thieves are, like, pretty chill. <laughs> and it's also funny to me that it seems like a lot of thieves have, like, a code of ethics. Like, they're like, I'm going to steal from this, like, corporation. Or I'm going to steal from this, like, chain restaurant. You little klepto girls that just need to take a shot glass wherever you go. But, like, you out here just snatching people's bags for the RNG of what's inside of it. I don't know. A lot of thieves I meet are pretty chill. <laughs> Once again, not endorsing that. I was just, I don't know. Like this one, she's a rare one. I'm just up here. If you're gonna interfere with an investigation, you're not gonna not identify yourself. That's the thing. I'm just recording. Yes, you are. You're I'm recording. You're from our ability to conduct this no, investigation. No, he, he has mental problems. I'm trying to let y'all know. Now is the time where you're under arrest. You're gonna get searched. That's fine, but under arrest Stay. for Stop one. Stop moving. Two, one, two, three. What am I under arrest Stop for? Stop moving. Are you gonna? Stop right now me? is resisting. That's what you're under arrest for. I'm not because I'm not moving. I'm just talking. So I'm just asking you. Oh my god, dude, she's getting my nerves. I gotta skip through a little bit. This is the time to talk. No, now is the time no, to talk. No, I'm not. What the, the f? I have the right to talk. Sit down, please. Y'all put me in handcuffs because y'all don't want me telling my brother that y'all don't have the right to go into his house without a search warrant. But what am I being arrested for? Is she right, though? Or they can just say, like, I smell weed and that's, like, probable cause or something. But the thing is, is, like, even if she was right, like, they can't got, because I don't know what state this is, like, without a search warrant, I think that this attitude is not aiding. Why am I in this is handcuffs? This is Why am I aiding. Because you're not listening. Because I'm yelling. I don't have to listen to y'all. Yes, I'm you do. Woman. I can yell if I want to. Mm. Y'all weren't listening when my brother said not to go in this house for a. I don't even know. We're writing a search warrant. My brother did, told y'all not to go in his house. We have a right to freeze the scene. We're not searching. That's fine. I almost feel like the way she's reacting at first i really thought she was like protecting her brother i feel like she's done more here and she's trying to protect herself i feel like she's got <clears throat> shit in the house or like what is going on i drive by and these mother searching my brother's garbage can i pull in why y'all searching my brother's garbage can i ask that at least four times neither one of the officers wanted to respond to me he had a bag stolen from his car last bro. night had an air tag in it air tag oh, places it somewhere you. between these two houses so then i get to asking my brother what's going on then i start asking the other uh people who called the police what's going on they get to tell me what's going on now he wants to butt in and tell me what's going on hello y'all don't have the right to search my car you do not have the right to search See, my she has the same exact energy about not wanting them to search the house as she has about her own personal car something's real weird going on her little retelling of events right there is such a testament to how i don't know if you guys feel this way but when i'm like scrolling on tiktok or i like see it, like something on YouTube and someone talks about a situation that happens and they tell the story. I am always so fully invested. And because they're the first person telling me, I 
pretty much like tend to just like fully believe that person, especially if they're being like victimized in some way, shape or form. Over the past couple years, I keep running into TikTok stories where somebody's talking about this bartender or I don't know if you guys saw the one where the, the fisherman was screaming on the boat and all that. And then the other side comes out and I'm like, <laughs> they got me. Like sometimes people will really be saying stuff passionately and seriously and you want to bleed them and then they just play the clip right there. Don't do that because you're confusing me. <laughs> on my son, I will be pressing charges. That's on my son. On your son? The same lawyers that's fighting my little baby on brother's your... case for him being killed in a crash are going to be the same motherfuckers that's going to be doing this for me. Yeah, Mario. On your son? On your son's life? No! Why do criminals hate their families so much? <laughs> people throw their family under the bus all the time like that because they're the, the last people left. They don't have anybody else to throw under the bus. Their partners have left, their friends have severed connections with them, and now they just have their family that sticks around because they're like, oh, you're blood and I love you. And so then they just constantly abuse their family and then their family never leaves until they get to a breaking point. Obviously, you've probably been doing some things that you're not supposed to be doing. Okay. Part of how we can approach this type of issue now is I can oh, absolutely continue it. to proceed and apply for that search warrant. And if the judge approves it, I'm going to search this residence. The alternative to that is, with your consent, I can also search this residence. Obviously, we know we're going to find a backpack. That's mainly what we're here for and probably could have avoided if you would have just turned that over to begin with. Um, but now we've gone obviously yeah. a little bit too far. Is that your sister there? That got a little bit too vocal about I, things even okay. though we were 100 Remember when I said there's the point of no return for police officers where they decide like, okay, you're getting in trouble for this. I think that this guy hates that chick so much because she's just being so rowdy right now that he would be willing to almost cut this guy some slack out of spite. And he'll probably leave it up to the guy with the backpack on whether he wants to press charges or not. He might give this guy some slack and like, hey, I'm gonna take the backpack, I'm gonna give it back to the guy and I'm gonna let the guy decide if he wants to press charges or not because I don't think he's like out to get this dude right now you know but I don't know what's gonna happen to the chick I have no fucking idea it's not within our right but that being pretty said calm I'm and explaining ask, everything to him and giving him a choice right now yeah. <laughs> I, don't just, I don't care if you guys search you just please do not mess we're not gonna help it is there um, any weed in there that we need to be concerned about? I have bags of clothes. I need to do laundry. Okay. I'm, I'm not concerned about laundry or anything like that, but you give us consent to search your residence here. Actually, I don't, because a responsible, a responsible okay. person, I would rather wait until they just get away. Are they just going to go in? Are going to go get a warrant? You know That's I mean? fine. That's fine. At this point, I'm going to place you under arrest for a theft That's at this point. Mm. He, he got more stuff in the house. Mm. Hey! I need the <laughs> weed! <laughs> Why are the editors of the cop channels low key kind of funny? I need some fresh air and this handcuff. Dude, it was no crying. reason for this handcuff to be see, on me see. so tight. I was not resisting. I was just yelling. I was. I put my hands behind my back for them. I was just yelling there. I don't know why Dude, this handcuff is so. Now the emotion underneath the anger is coming up. When I was uh, just doing a whole bunch of therapy. <laughs> One thing that I learned about myself personally, and this may not be the same for everyone, is that when I got angry, there was always some kind of vulnerable emotion underneath it, whether it was anxiety, like fear of rejection, just general being sad or, you know, feeling inadequate or something. I had like a layer of anger that would protect me from feeling those vulnerable things. And so when I was going through a lot of therapy, I learned whenever I would like felt like I got angry and it didn't fit the situation, I would A, try to calm that down, but then B, I would try to like, for lack of a better term, like mine the anger. Like I would try to calm down so that I could see what the emotion underneath the anger was. And I always, always, always got some kind of bitch made emotion. And I would be, I, that's why people sometimes cry when they get angry. Like you could be flying off the handle but like if you're crying as well or you want to cry, there's some kind of really vulnerable emotion underneath that. And so I see her freaking out like this and then now she's crying probably because there was some fear underneath it. First it was fear of getting caught. Now maybe it's like fear of going to jail. And once again, I try to remind you guys, these are like my experiences and my own assumptions. You can take what you want from it, throw away parts of it, throw away all of it, keep some parts of it, whatever. I just 
you know, tell you my interpretations of things. But that's why I think she's crying because there was like a fear or something underneath it. So if you're also somebody that uses anger to protect yourself from like painful emotions, it's actually a really good idea to kind of mind that anger and try to calm down and see what's underneath it because you have to fix that stuff. You have to like address it, feel the inadequacy, feel the fear of rejection, feel the fear and just like let it, you know, go through you and you'll be a much stronger person for it, right? Artisha's boyfriend in the red car. Police also detected a strong odor of marijuana coming from the vehicle. So, so sir, get away from me, sir. Can you listen for a second? So, we need to identify you. And okay. then you'll be able to go. Can That's I get your driver's fine. license? That's no problem. Like, I don't even have my license. I'm not okay. driving. Would you be willing to give him your like, information? Yes, I, okay. I will. I'll take your info. Justin Johnson. I have no problem giving you my name. It's just I do not feel safe around you. I understand. Kind of too aggressive and that's why I thought maybe you and I could switch. Okay. Too aggressive for me. Okay. Like, well, for real. Bryce, stand by your squad keys. I'm going to roll the window down. Why? She just wants some air, which is fine. She starts screaming and goes back up. What's your last name? Can I get somebody else? I don't need like your attitude. You want to that? That's kind of bad. <laughs> You're going to talk to me right now. Dude, he said that like somebody was taking his order. Can I get somebody else? I don't like your attitude. Because I'm tired of you guys not listening when I give you orders. You guys, my, I, what stop, do you mean stop, by you guys? You and your sister. I'm going to help you. Let me just. Yeah, you can handle it. Yeah, he's a Christ. Yeah, he's a you guys. Call Reese a weed. We're going to let him leave. Due to the strong smell, they found it suitable to be searched too. That dude is a piece of shit. my son, dude. If I ever catch this out here and he comes at me like that again and I have my gun permit, oh my God, dude, I'm a, I swear to God, anything I'm in the rights to do is gonna happen. What? Why would you say that? And then why would you say that while crying? You look crazy. How are you gonna threaten to kill somebody while you're crying? Don't wanna yell. I never wanted to yell. I just wanted someone to listen to me talk. As soon as I start raising my voice and yelling, they're like grabbing me up, putting me in handcuffs, roughing me around. It's like no reason to do that just because I'm yelling. I don't deserve to be treated like this, dude. I'm involved in the community and everything, bro. I donate, I do everything I can for this city, bro. And I'm steady getting treated like bro. I don't give a what the family done did. I'm just asking for, I'm just asking to be treated like a human, bro. Like what the I do to be pushed up against like. All right, so. I'm just trying to organize this as best as I can for you. So, a large majority of the property from your backpack was just located on Cleveland. It'll be back at the police department uh, at some point today. No way. What do you mean like a large majority? The paper, some paperwork, some... Uh, is it like, wait, so like, okay. I, I wasn't is given the... To... Is it scattered or is it like still in the actual... Um, it sounds like a majority of it was scattered. But, but, hear me out, hear me out. There's another side to this. So while checking the residence, make sure nobody else was in there, you found your backpack. So. So I just came to last night. Uh, okay, so this is my clothes. This is my bag. And this, and we left it because we got, we got home around. Yeah. What time were you home last night? 11 or 12. 11 or 12 from Eau Claire, Wisconsin. I left okay. my bag. We're like, okay, the baby was sleeping. We're going to go inside. I'll come back and get this in the morning. Yeah, absolutely. And what happened, the guy that we were about to go to coffee, and the bag's gone. It pops up here, and I'm like, dude, like, if you just give it back to me, I, I won't push charges. But if you don't, if I find something, I have to push charges. Okay. Yeah, I mean, absolutely you can. Um, in terms of the property, so we're currently applying for a search warrant for the house. So we have to wait for that to get your bag. So. Um, the property that oh Austin Butchkowski found we're will be brought up to the PD. Look we're working it. on helping you get out of here. It's just, there's a lot of moving parts going on right now. And it's going to take a few more minutes, okay? Yeah, no worries. Yeah, I don't all right. have all day. It's okay. All right, thank you. The whole time I was just trying to get a question and point across. Okay, well, I've explained to you what I can. Okay, I know. Your job is done with, okay. not your, it's not your job to be it's nice to me anymore. I'm have a good check. day. I know you don't give a okay. Okay. There's no reason. No, I know you don't give a like, this is crazy because y'all don't understand. Like, I, there is no single reason why these cuffs should be on me. Swear to God! This is evil themselves about! I tried oh so God. hard! Jesus! Christ, dude! Therapy! Yo! You're weird, dude. Weirdo. Piece of shit. I hope your mother wife gets wild or she's getting d down by a real and not you, you piece of shit. These mother don't even know they going to 
fucking hell. And you don't think that you're going to hell for saying that a random woman that you don't know, you hope that she gets <coughs> assaulted? You have some serious fucking issues if you're just saying shit like that to people or about people. Objectively, that's the worst thing that I've heard out of all these body cam videos today. And she's one of the people that wants the most sympathy. That horrible thing she just said is online forever and over 8 million people have seen it. Good. Very no! Good. He is not supposed to be in my car! Girl, why she look stupid? <laughs> Ain't nobody supposed to be in my car! Okay, well my son needs to be somewhere safe and get driven home safely. Mm. He will. Not by a police officer, cause y'all mother can't be trusted. Okay, I'm sorry you feel yeah. that way. Yeah, I'm sorry you feel that way. I feel that way because of how you just hammered me the up against a car like I was really doing something other than yelling. Last name Price, I'm gonna remember that shit, and that's on my son. Are you threatening uh, me? It's not a threat at all. So don't put, don't, don't wonder weird shit like that. No one ever threatened you, Jesus. ever. Okay, another one, another crazy person. Another one. Just making sure you understand that threatening a police officer is a felony and I will charge like it. Like I said, I did not threaten you, never would. I'm not stupid, I don't threaten anybody. Just in case anything happens to me, I need to know your last name. Yep, there's three cameras on you, you right now, that's so. That's fine, you Mr. Price. All this because I asked the officer why they're going through my brother's trash and I love minimizers. They just do the craziest shit and then they, all of this because I just asked a question. Could have choked me, killed me, and I would have never resisted. Dude. Okay. None of, nothing even close to that happened. Whatever. <laughs> what happened was y'all wanted to sit here and press as many charges as y'all can against everybody that's here to put everybody in jail and make us miserable because y'all mad that I know the law a little bit. I'm, I'm done trying to explain it to you. You ain't never tried to explain anything to I me when I came up here in the first talking. place. I was asking for someone to can, explain can something explain? to me, and it can never I, got done. Can I explain? And then I got I, see, you're thrown onto to the me. ground and because I said you need a search warrant no to go into my brother's house. Well, first of all, maybe if someone would have explained something to me, I would can be I, a little can, more can understanding as to you why then? you're going into his house. But no, no one can, ever decided can, to explain something to me because according to the officers that were here in the first place, I don't live here, so it's not my business. Okay, we talked about everybody's different methods today. I have decided now her method is living in a state of delusion. When people argue with you and their argument is in a different universe, it is in a different realm. They are saying that certain things didn't happen that absolutely happened, things that they said or did. They're just making things up. When this person goes into the delusion world, so here we are, we're here on earth, but she has gone over here into a delusional world that she has created. There are new laws here. There's a new timeline. Just completely different things have happened over here. And she's explaining to you the rules of Delulu land. And when you're over here on earth, if you try to communicate with her, she's going to try to bring you further out into her planet of Mars. And that is when you, the, you know, person on earth, you have to decide, do I want to enter Delulu land with her where she can change the timelines? She can change the rules. She's God here. She is God in this land. And you have to decide, do I want to stay on earth, which is disengaging from the situation saying, I can no longer talk to you about this. Or do you want to go into Delulu land and fight, fight the power and fight to change the rules and fight to take control of the timeline again? You must decide because in Delulu land, you have no power. You have no power there. Does that make sense? What would the with the Delulu argument is that's her superpower. Like she's over there. Y'all clearly want to find something. It reeks of marijuana. Because what the f would you why would it not? Why would it I thought she said it didn't smell like marijuana. You know, for a second, I because it is a thing where like people will like say like, oh, there's X, Y, and Z and just use that to search the house. And she just said that the house smells like weed. Man, she came back to earth for a minute. I don't smoke in my house. And if it reeks of marijuana, what exactly are y'all looking for? F 300 pounds of weed or what because well, the way so y'all searching this is like y'all looking for an el chapo it's, stash it's still illegal checking my f***ing paint dude were any of y'all holding me. out for her for a second that like maybe it didn't smell like weed and something was going on i don't know actually i am gonna be charging you with threatening because you threatened my wife earlier doing what I'm just letting you know i uh -oh. am gonna at least hold on let us see where the Time Lord goes. Will she go to Delulu land, the world where she never said that? Or will we remain on planet Earth? I'm just letting you know I am gonna at least recommend charges for threatening because you did threaten, threaten my family. Who? who did I threaten? Who did I threaten? My family. 
I never threatened your, your family. Where is the bullet? We're never getting out of here. I hope and saying I, I did. I ever say I will or someone was gonna do it? Like no. It never happened. It's all a lie. You're lying. You're lying. <laughs> The only way that you can escape Delulu land is by not getting on the rocket ship. Do not get in the rocket ship. Do not try to challenge the Time Lord. Stay on Earth, folks.